kia ora, Helen Browns here coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling start to your Tune Up Tuesday. I'm just writing in my journal here, so I don't forget to finish that off later. So, how you all doing? Welcome to Tune Up Tuesday. It has been an amazing morning already. We've been out for a walk, I've done a training call, I had a very interesting conversation with somebody who was a Pinterest marketer. Um, so my day has had a very blessed start and a great day. It is, I can't do that one. <laughs> um, and I have to get, I have to make this quick because I gotta get back to my project I was working on yesterday so I can knock it out of the ballpark and get it completed. So it is tune up to Tuesday. Um, we have two things for you this morning. The first one is I'm going to be reading from Chicken Soup Soul, Think Positive, Live Happy. One called Never Too Old. Just making little tweaks and twists. And then we're going to talk about what music we're going to listen to today. So, Never Too Old. The quote here is from Dallas Clayton and it says, It's never too late to start something new to do all those things that you've been longing to do. And, you ready? Here we go. I love this because I was reading it and I was going, oh my gosh, this is just, this is so funny because I will tell you the opposite of the story soon. When I was turning 30, a friend asked me to share my biggest regret in life. Remember, turning 30, right? It didn't take me long to say I most regretted not finishing college. I explained that I was considered smart in school, made great grades, and had big dreams. By giving up on it all, I felt like I was not only letting myself down, but also everyone who believed in me. My friend said, why not now? But with a son in elementary school, a Joe, a, a Joe, a job, <laughs> loads of other responsibilities at church and home, I had a million excuses. The one I thought was the strongest. If I went back, I would be 32 when I graduated. What I heard back was something I will never forget. You're going to be 32 anyway. It was the simplest and wisest advice I, had, I could have received. I could turn 32 with a college degree or without one, but I was going to turn 32 anyway. So I did it. I earned my journalism degree and could not have felt prouder, 32 or not. And I, and I have recycled this advice a dozen times. Aside from becoming Miss Teen USA or a high school Victorian, there are very, very few things for which I am too late. Do I really want to write my, right. do I really want to write my first book at 42? I'm going to be 42 anyway. Do I really want to learn how to dance in my 40s? I'm going to go through my 40s anyway. Do I really want to run a half marathon in my 50s? I'm going to be 50 anyway. Do I really want to be traveling in my 60s? I'm going to be in my 60s anyway. I hope you have never heard, I hope you never hear me say I'm too old for that. Instead, I hope you hear me say I'm going to be 85 anyway. And it was written by Jen Chapman. And I thought that is so cool because you are never too old. I always remember there was one show on Oprah, she had a guy on there who was in his 90s who had just learned to read. And the first book that he, and the book that he learned to read from was the Bible. But he had just learned to read, he was in his 90s, he had never read anything in his entire life, but in his 90s he decided he was going to learn to read. You are never too old to do any, okay, some things like, she said, Miss Teen USA, yep, not doing that one. High School Valley Victorian, that's gone too. Um, but one of the funniest things that I that I do recall about the age thing is um, when was it beginning of last year? So I was only fifty one at the time, getting told I was too young to purchase a particular house that I kind of liked because it was in a fifty five plus community, and um, I got told I was too young. So I was sort of like, and I just started laughing, and my son and daughter in law were with me, and they kind of like looked at me really weird, and I said. Do you know the last time I was told I was too young to do something? <laughs> so it's kind of cool, the fact that I was getting told at the age of 51 I was too young to do something. But you are never too old to learn. You are never too old to change your ways. You are never too old to make that one little tweak that could have the biggest impact on your life. So remember that. You are never too old to make the smallest tweak to become, to, to take you to the next, to the next big thing in your life. So that's that one. You're never too old to write a song. You're never too old to learn to read. You're never too old 
to write a book. I've been trying to write a book for years. I've got several books on the go. Although flash fiction, not a lot of fun writing that. Um, maybe I'll do a book on flash fiction, full of my flash fiction stories. Hmm, that sounds good. Um, but just remember, you are never too old to start something new. You're never too old to make a tweak that could mean the difference between having or not having. Just one little tweak. That's what Tune Up Tuesday is all about, making that little, fine-tuning ourselves just a little bit in our mindset, in our business, just that one little tweak. Is we, but remember, you are never too old to start. Um, even getting a college degree. My husband um, went back to school while he was fighting cancer. So this is back in 2008. He went back to school while fighting cancer to get his four-year college degree. Yes, all those credits he had done years ago at um, what was it, USC, Southern California. Um, he had just missed it by, I think it was like four credits. He had maxed out all of his comp sci, all his computer science um, classes. He had maxed those out and he just had like four credits left on a math class. So in 2008, while fighting cancer, he went back to school. He went through University of Phoenix and in 2000 and 2011, so in 2011 or 2012, he got to walk across the stage as a, as a, with his four-year degree. Um, so I was very, very proud of him, you know, and he was, see, 47, 48, he was either 51 or 52 at the time, depending on if it was 11 or 12. Um, <laughs> so, you know, he was in his 50s and he went back to school and got his degree. You know, this woman's talking about getting a degree when she's 32, I'm like, my husband was 52 um, when he got his. So you are never too never too old to start something new. So go try those things. If you want to learn to surf, go learn to surf. Unless you've got medical disabilities that will prevent you from learning to surf, you know, why not? Never think of yourself as too old. old is, age is just a number. And here's my saying, old is always 10 years older than what you are now, so therefore you will never be old. There you go. And for our music today, we're gonna to be listening to One Hit Wonders. And also like, oh my gosh, what one hit wonders are out there? And I went to, um, went and Googled one hit wonders. There are so many different lists out there. Some of them have the same songs on there, like um, Come On Eileen um, was one song that was on there. Me and Mrs. Jones was another one on there. Um, 99 Luftballons. Um, what other songs were on there? Um, but a little, 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 let's go see if I can find a list. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what else was on there. The Final Countdown, Maniac. For those of you who know music movie Flashdance, you will know that one. Um, Wipeout. Um, if you just go Google, um, Walking on Sunshine was another one. If you just go Google um, One Hit Wonders, there is all sorts of different lists that will come up. There'll be the cheesiest One Hit Wonders from the 80s, cheesiest One Hit Wonders from the 60s. Mm -hmm. There's the UK One Hit Wonders, there's the US One Hit Wonders, there's the Billboard One Hit Wonders. They've all got their different criteria for what constitutes being a One Hit Wonder. But go out there, have a look at the list. I mean, I'm going through these, through some of these, um, oh, ahas, take on me, that was another one. Um, going through this list and going, oh my gosh, I know that one, I know that one, I know that one, I know that one. And some of them I started singing with, some of them I didn't, and some of them was a lot of fun. Because some of them I didn't know, some of them I did. Um, but, you know, there's a whole bunch of one-hit wonders out there. What are some of your favorite one-hit wonders? Let us know in the comments below. Um, so if I don't know them, I can go check them out. I'm always looking for new music to listen to. Um, but, yeah, so that's it for today. Remember, you are never too old to start something new. You are never too old to learn something new. So get out there and do it. And what is your favorite? what are your favorite one-hit wonders? Let us know in the comments below. Have a super fantastic sparkling tune-up Tuesday, and we will catch you guys later today. Heck on